So let's let's get rolling. It's uh, seven o'clock. Uh, this is the City of Twinsburg Planning Commission meeting for Monday, February twenty second, twenty twenty one. Roll call. Mr. Shipley. Mr. Here. Metropolis. Here. Mr. Kleinman. Here. Mr. Cohen. Present. Mr. Shebeck. Present. Um, so this evening, um, the usual planning commission agenda has been modified to combine the work session with the regular meeting to assist with the remote meeting format that we have this evening. So we'll go into the regular meeting agenda with the first item, the approval of the minutes of the December 7th, 2020 meeting. Are there any comments or corrections to those minutes? Hearing none and seeing none, the minutes will be accepted as submitted. Uh, the next item on the agenda is the um, lot split for Heritage Industrial Park Phase 2 on Dutton Drive. Uh, if the applicant could please introduce themselves and uh, give us an overview of what they're looking for this evening. So this is Jim Rusa speaking. I am counsel to uh, Mr. Panu, who's uh, the applicant. Um, we are, you may have received drawings. You should have received copies of drawings from Riverstone, the surveyors and engineers that we've hired for this project. Um, and I assume you've all seen it. I'm not, I can do a screen share, but I'm gonna assume that you've all seen the, the documents. Everybody should have a copy um, that, to, that they should have uh, that was uh, sent to them, so. Okay, yeah. so, so the, it's, it's basically going to be a truck terminal uh, for a commercial trucking outfit that Mr. Panu runs. And um, we have applied for a lot split to, to split out the portion that we want to develop. And the property is still the name of, of the um, Wolstein family. It's going to be transferred into the applicant's name uh, this week. Um, we have engaged Riverstone also to put together a a uh, stormwater uh, runoff plan and a actual development plan for that parcel, uh, which is going to include paving, fencing, uh, creating landscaping, ingress and egress uh, to get in and out of that space uh, and eventually construction of a uh, repair facility on that site. Uh, we expect to submit those plans uh, to this body, hopefully in time for your next meeting. Uh, we're just finishing up the actual development plan itself, uh, but for purposes of today, we're here for the lot split uh, approval that we've uh, submitted to you in writing, and that's really our, our first our first step in the project. Um, there is going to be some there is going to be some some clearing clearing of trees, and we're in contact we're in touch with the uh, uh, the the state regarding a permit to take down those trees as well. Um, that's proceeding kind of on a parallel path. Uh, once we get your approval to do the lot split itself. All right, uh, thank you. Um, so number one, as you uh, as you mentioned this evening is just the lot split, no site plan uh, approval or anything like that for this evening, you'll be coming back uh, under a separate, separate application for that. Right. Um, my only question is, um, which of the two pieces will you be developing for the truck terminal, uh, the piece known as B2 or B3? Or B3? If you're looking at the if you're looking at the drawings that were provided to you, it's the it's the lot on the right uh, of the two. Um, let me just see if I can. So that uh, would be that would be the three point two three acre parcel labeled as B three. Uh, correct. Yeah. That's correct. Yes. Right. Um, not that that's uh, needed. Uh, it's just was just more for information. Um, yep. I was asking. Yep. Um, and we've and, and we've had conversations with uh, the staff regarding the appropriate setbacks, and and I think we've uh, provided drawings that comply with all the setback requirements under your uh, your local ordinances and code. Uh, all right. We'll go around. Uh, we'll start with Steve. Any comments or questions? No, I'm good. Thanks. Thank you. David, any comments or questions? Nothing for me. Pete? No, everything uh, seems to be in compliance. I have uh, no problems. I have no problems with this at all. Thank you. Craig? 
Yeah, the, the only question I had was uh, the documentation start off that is a 8.52 acres that's going to be split. But when you add up the two split of the acres, you don't get 8.52 acres, you get 8.48 acres. I'm just wondering where the other 0.04 acres went to. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if it was a rounding uh, issue. Um, we had uh, messed around with the dimensions a little bit uh, based on the conversations with the staff. And I thought we had it matched up uh, to, to add up uh, completely to what the acreage is. Um, if we can, I suppose we can, re we can submit revised drawings if we need to do that to, to reflect that. Simmer, do you want to weigh in on that? Uh, about, about those uh, 3.2 means? Yeah, we, apparently the math between the parcel that you're developing and the remainder um, don't add up exactly. Um, uh, 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 yeah, Brian got that uh, drawing and uh, he said uh, it's a uh, 3.24 acres uh, exact uh, amount uh, of the land uh, uh, regarding the, their uh, approval from the. So the critical, the critical number is the amount that we've asked for in that parcel on the right side, the, the B3 parcel, um, whatever, yeah, whatever's remaining is, is, is what it is. Uh, we thought we. We thought they described the entire parcel correctly. Perhaps they were off by just a little bit. Okay. So you can just if, check if that. I may, if, yeah. if I may, I believe it may have something to do with the replat that came prior to this lot split. And at that juncture, the um, right of way was altered on that cul de sac. And I, I think okay. that might be the difference. Yeah, that, that could be. We, we are working from drawings that, that go back a little ways. And Riverstone did the original drawing, so um, we can get them to conform that when we submit the final development plan. Lynn, have they submitted the, the Mylar or that hasn't been submitted yet? That has not been submitted yet. And I was going to make that point. If the yeah. property is to record and transfer ASAP, um, we'll need the Mylar from the engineer. And, yep. and, my, and my comment in asking that was the applicant has the opportunity to double check their math and update um, what those um, square footages are and acreages are on that uh, prior so that when you do submit the Mylar, it, it's all tidy. Yep, yep, appreciate that. Yeah, we, we expect to have that submitted in the next few days. So, um, all right, uh, Scott, did you uh, have any comments or questions on this? I'm sorry, Craig, was there anything else? Uh, on? No, that's it. That was it. Thank okay. you, Mark. Scott, anything? Uh, no, nothing for me at this time. Lynn, anything okay. else that uh, you need to share with us regarding this? No, I would expect, um, as was mentioned, a site plan to be rolling in shortly. Um, yep. In that interim, yeah, we may release a permit to begin site clearing um, to meet with the battery time frame right i don't know if everybody knows about that there this oh, yeah. isn't a this isn't a bad habitat so you've got a wind short window of time to take these trees down yes we so. deal with that on many of the properties here in the yeah. city so yeah um all right well uh so i know everybody else uh, having their opportunity to talk i'd like to make a motion on this upon reliance upon representations made by the applicant and their representative along with the submitted lot split replat for Heritage Industrial Park Phase 2 on Dutton Drive, permanent parcel number 64-04393, date stamped received February 3rd, 2021. I move for final approval of the lot split. Do I have a second? A second. I'll second. Uh, that was uh, Craig, uh, who second. Uh, any discussion? Roll call. Mr. Cohen? Yes. Mr. Shipley? Yes. Mr. Metropolis? Yes. Mr. Kleinman? Yes. Mr. Sheback? Yes. Lot split approval, 5-0. So you can continue to move forward and we will okay. look forward to uh, the next uh, part of your submission um, okay. when you have it ready to, to submit. All right, thank you very much for your time, gentlemen. Really appreciate it. We'll talk to you thank later, you. I'm sure. All right, okay. thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.
Next item uh, is communications and miscellaneous. Uh, Steve, do you have anything this evening? Um, I do not, only that uh, notice that they cleaned up some of the um, trailer parking, truck parking at uh, Cornerstone. But it seems like we're getting another uh, area that's starting to develop as a parking lot area is the old Damon's property down on uh, in the development behind uh, uh, Cracker Barrel. Yeah, by yeah, by Cracker Barrel. So, um, can we can we force these people to like chain off their lots? This is getting ridiculous. I mean, I saw, I went by yesterday. There was several tractor trailers in there, a detached trailer. Um, this is getting, I mean, it's not what this community is about. So we need to tighten that up a little bit. We can, I, I don't think any of us were aware of the gaming situation. Yeah, it seems to be mostly on the weekends, sometimes during the week, but uh, there was like yeah. four in there uh, yesterday when I went by. Okay. That's all I had. Thank you, Steve. Uh, David, anything for uh, communications? Kind of going back to what we just talked about on the land splits, um, it's not really related directly, but in, in all of our industrial parks, there's no place for anybody to walk. Uh, is this a way that we can start encouraging people to put in some sidewalks or something so workers and people that feel like walking during lunch can feel comfortable doing that? Well, it would surely be part of the site plan approval process. And when they come forward, Lynn, is there anything in the ordinances that that requires the sidewalks to be put in when these plots are developed? Or is it is it based on us to uh, make it a, a condition of approval? No, there is an actual requirement to install sidewalks at the time that the site is developed. This, historically, that didn't happen. And so now, you know, we're left with a situation as is where there aren't any sidewalks. I think there would have to be additional action to require those sidewalks be installed at at this point. Um, what, what about for new developments? I understand for existing developments that don't have them, but I know people will say, well, I'm, I'm just pie, piecemealing it in, but if you don't start somewhere, it's not going to happen at all. Exactly. I will never, ever, again, bring forward a project where we are not requiring the sidewalks um, in an industrial location or a commercial location and have it be sort of something where planning commission kind of weighs in. I, we're gonna, staff's going to require it. And if you disagree with the requirement, we'll go from there. But from um, new adventures on out, we're, I, I will require it in the planner's report. Excellent. David, is that what you were looking for? That's fantastic. Good deal. It is a requirement. We've just, um, there's always been some inconsistencies because of just prior not requiring them. And um, it, it has fallen on the shoulders of planning commission to sort of make that determination. Um, but yeah, we're going to attack this from a different angle from here on out. Great. Well, Thank that you. sounds good. David, anything else? Uh, uh, Lynn, just one other follow-up. Uh, that development by the con tri concrete. Um, uh huh. They have another Wilcox punch Meadows? list. Uh, I'm sorry. The Wilcox Meadows um, age restricted housing. No, not that one. The one behind it. Uh, the, okay. The, the second phase. I forget what that's called. Um, Quarry Reserve. Uh, that's probably it. The they're yep. we're going to ask them to put on their punch list to uh, look at that trail. Yeah, look at that. Kind of, I, I mean, I know that mm -hmm. it seems like they're, they're, are they almost done? Are they, have they sold all the lots? Um, I think there are still lots for sale. Um, bef before they, before the um, bond money and before final inspections happen, there's a punch list. Um, and there's a time frame involved for the city accepting um, the stormwater features. And so that's sort of when all of that comes into play. Um, maybe when spring gets here, I can um, 
get with the developer and have a discussion about that trail specifically. But in terms of closing out the entire development, it sort of happens all at once. Got it. Okay. That's all I And that happens through sort of, and that happens through an engineering division punch list um, process. Got it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, You're David. Uh, Pete, anything under miscellaneous or communications? I have nothing tonight. Craig, anything? I just have one, just one question on the I-2 um, Limited Industrial District. So is there any, uh, so can a, uh, a, a parking lot for, for, for trucks, I mean, we, we can put that next to a nice office building. Like, is there any, I don't know what you want to call that, zoning or, or uh, consideration of, of mix and matching like a ugly looking truck stop area to a nice looking office building? Um, every project goes through architectural review board. And so they're talking about a small sized building associated with this project. Um, I think they would like to phase development of the site, but that building will go through architectural review board. I think Craig, the other thing is, is if, if it's a permitted use, um, usually in an I-2, it's where you would expect to see something like that in the office building is either in an I-2 or it's adjacent in another use. I'm not exactly sure in this case, but that's sometimes what happens when you get like those two kind of where you think something yeah, is you know, much more attractive and it goes next to something that is maybe not as attractive, but that's kind of, if you're in the I-2 district, it's anything can that's happen. That's what you get, it's, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So obviously on our review, it'd be also if they had the building up front and park the trucks behind the building if they have a building, but... I guess we'll look at it then. Yeah. Right. And I think that the trucks may not be permitted in the front of the building, if I'm not mistaken. So that would help okay. with that, obviously. All right. Just a anything comment. else, Greg? Nope. Scott, anything uh, to share with us on uh, communications? Um, not much. We uh, we got a council meeting tomorrow night, so we'll give a report on uh, the the lot split decision this evening. Um, I guess I would echo uh, Ms. Muter and Mr. Kleinman's sentiments about the the sidewalk issue. After some of uh, the learning curve with new uh, new adventures uh, daycare, um, I, I know that council is is glad to see sidewalks and and walkability be a part of our community. That's really all I have. Thank you. Uh, Lynn, uh, update on what uh, what's uh, coming up? Uh, anything else that you want to share? You know, at our last meeting, I think I had let you know that there was a building expansion planned for the sheets um, at Twin Hills and East Aurora. Yeah. Um, that, that plan has been scrapped. They are now, the plan is now to tear down the building and the existing canopy and to start from scratch, wow. um, I know the building will be slightly larger, but essentially um, the site will be extremely similar to what it currently is. I, I believe that that submittal will be made on Wednesday of this week for next month. Um, we also have uh, an industrial building addition at an Edison um, drive site. Um, and that, that's what I know for sure we'll have um, for our next meeting. All right. Anything else uh, to share this evening? Um, we had our first um, meeting of the plan update committee. And um, IT department is working on um, a, a page on the city's website um, where we can post all of that information. Um, that may be done this week, and so that's just something um, maybe if you're interested that you want to follow. All right. Um, so our next meeting then, we're kind of, are we kind of back, I think, into the regular come, uh, come March? Oh, no, our, our meeting in March is, <laughs> the, is the 15th. Correct. Yeah, so we won't have one in the first week. Um, okay, well, that's what it is. Until then, it gives everybody a little time to 
work on their submissions. Um, then uh, if there's nothing else, um, then we will we'll adjourn this evening's planning commission meeting at uh, 7.21 p.m. Thank you everybody for uh, um, coming together uh, virtually to make this happen. Thank you, Mark. Thanks, Thanks Lynn. Good night, everybody. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.